Hello guys. Today I will show you uh, how to mm, model something like NASA energy capsule, something very futuristic, but in a very simple way. So this is how it will finally look. And uh, and actually we we can start and I'll show you how it looks in Rhino right now I've made it previously for you so now we start a new file and uh, make it from beginning so remember to, to open your uh, pro new project in small objects millimeters basically this is very simple tutorial this is very simple model we uh, start with the uh, sphere which uh, actually is the best way right now and we a little bit mm, mm, scale the dimensions in the uh, Z and X uh, axis so let's do so uh, I used to tend to start uh, everything from the zero point so now just type on the zero on the keyboard and press enter and then just extend your uh, your sphere with a shift pressed and we've got it like this so let's shade it and um, if you have a gamble uh, turn on just uh, it will appear when you p click on the object if not you have to uh, set select from here so gumball will help me to scale it very simple way so i will scale it in that direction and also in this direction as you can see uh, in with when you press shift you can sphere uh, scale all dimensions at once so i will do something like that okay and uh, and then for the uh, next uh, purposes I will just copy this feature uh, in my clipboard so just select it and control C control V on the windows and uh, you've got it now hidden uh, if you uh, if you just select uh, uh, one of them they're gonna be one behind each other so you have to select one and then press the bulb and then hide it so now it's gonna be one and then I know another one is hi hidden all right so now we have to uh, create the shapes to cut the like a like a very futuristic shape of it so I'll use the arch for that I'll create an arch like so and then I will align it to my object so you, you have to remember you've got a uh, align points like a snap points uh, selected in this case I knew I'm gonna need midpoint mm, and I'm going to have a center point here or just zero point because I started from it so I uh, just select mid on my arch and uh, press shift and block it automatically with a tab so the white line would will appear and uh, the movement is blocked only in uh, one axis and then I can align to my uh, end point on just to type say zero point is going to be aligned now I will just grab the, the red arrow and move the objects on my on my uh, ellipse so now it's the same situation I can grab my mm, uh, uh, my gumball and scale it as I want so now I'm going to mirror this curve so mirror is basically that one and the same here if you got if you if you made anything from a zero point you've got a every everything symmetrical so you can now select zero point and everything will be selected well as you want in mirror plane okay I've got a mirror and actually I can select both with a, sh with a shift and then control C, control V 
and I can just click on my arch on Gumball and type 90 degrees like so and now you can skate using Gumball look this is very helpful tool and uh, if you look from above it looks like that so now we just need to close these uh, loops to to prepare to extrude so I'll close it so now the same situation you have to remember to have end uh, enabled to be just an exact point here on the arch otherwise you're gonna have a uh, you're gonna have a holes in your shapes and uh, extrusion will not gonna work as we want so if you made it just uh, select them all and join them they're not going to group joining is not the same with group so be sure uh, you're not selecting group all right and, and now we just uh, gonna select uh, all shapes with a shift and then extrude it with uh, function called extrude straight close planner uh, carve and I usually if you have a uh, your carve in the middle I tend to uh, select both sides so then I can extrude in both sides easily that's what I'm actually gonna need it all right so uh, I'm going to cut these shapes into the other ellipse um, so there is an option called boolean difference and you, you can see anything here what you do so select surfaces to subtract from so I'm going to sub subtract from that one enter or right mouse button remember and then I'm going to select all of the shapes I'm going to use as a subtractions to okay fantastic that's what I wanted to have I've got a first shape now I can unhide my a hidden ellipse so I'm going to use just the right right mouse button on the um, uh, on the um, uh, bulb and then I'm going to copy it again because I might need it again in case I need I just copy and paste and then hide again all right so now I will scale that one as this yeah it to be a little bit smaller like that and now I'm going to use the same as I as I did before which is boolean difference in this shape I'm going to use subtraction of that yeah, and I've subtracted the uh, ellipse in ellipse which you now created a shape so this looks like very advanced shape uh, and that's what actually I needed and now uh, I'm going to make a hole uh, look again because this is kind of hole inside goes through and uh, and goes the same from the bottom so we're going to make that hole inside and you will see what I will do with that later so now I can select cylinder and ex exactly the same thing from a zero point and I just extend my uh, my cylinder up or down, whatever, and then I will just move it uh, to intersect them. And then again, I'm going to uh, boolean difference. All right, and I got a hole. So now I'm going to unhide the another uh, hidden ellipse with with the uh, right mouse button and then i'm going to m create this small strange wings or something like that i don't know how to call it uh, to do so you need to mm, take that car and move it a little bit as outside the shape as i did right now and the same without this one okay and basically I don't need that one so I can hide it because it's gonna be really disturbing me 
and I can actually mirror this. You can type it as well instead of going to catch the comment you can just type it and press enter at the end this is very helpful and then zero point and a shift and then mirror plane the same here zero point typed on the keyboard and now now we've got something like this and now I'm going to extrude again and this is very funny because I'm going to uh, do the same thing but uh, it's going to be like um, mm, not in difference but it's going to be intersection so everything will be what going to be intersected is going to be going to stay on a, on a stage so this one and this yeah and actually now I would say I need a little uh, another one another ellipse to do some more to do, to do cut here inside so basically this is very simple if you if you've missed it so we're gonna control Z select that one control copy move forward so control Y and then control V which means you've just uh, go back to the past copy something from the past and go back to the future and paste something from the past which is very funny and very strange I'm using it very often this is kind of deep and like a trick okay I'm sculling this again and um, and I'm going to s use a, a difference as I did before but I'm going to cut in those shapes hmm, with this ellipse yeah so now you can take a look what's inside and it's going to look great right now so uh, first thing i'm going to uh, create right now is going to be this small tube inside so i'm going to leave only that shape uh, on my stage so to, to hide anything uh, else on the stage you just need to press this icon okay so i'm i have to uh explode my object to be to every th every su surfaces be uh separate as, as this uh, so and uh, i'm going to cut that one i'm going to delete that one just pressing delete on the keyboard and then i'm going to blend blend this is a very cool function and i'm going to blend inside sh uh, uh, shapes by tangency and I'm going to lock it and then I can pre preview actually and then I'm going to scale it down because they are now intersected as so all right and now I need to do it again so I'm going to catch blend again and then I'm going to make those two shapes and the same situation is already s uh, selected enabled and then just lock the view and then I'm going to of course there's much couple of better ways to do to do it but this is just a simple beginner tutorial so you don't have to be worried about many things all right so I've got it right now and now I will select it and uh, join it so this is now one object okay i've got the kind of energy pipe and model it and ready to do other stuff and then unhide the rest and i'm going to hide those i'm going to leave those two on a stage so select them with the shift and then invert selection so now this is going to be um, be a little bit tricky of course you have to uh, you have to explode them I'm going to delete inside uh, surfaces and then I'm going to make uh, shapes car uh, arches here from the middle look from the middle of of these shapes this it has a very professional and very um, 
uh, accurate data so you can use it and now X actually I can just copy by typing mirror and use a zero point because and everything is symmetrical in in this uh, project so the same on the other side here like so and the top view you can actually uh, move between views with uh, comment on with no worries so uh, as this as so look it's gonna be very it like, looks like bone or something like that okay uh, go to top view and then type mirror again and then select zero press enter and then just got the shapes to create bone, uh, your bone so now I'm going to make a um, uh, make a shape so to do the best the best way to do it is to uh, probably to loft it but you have to check it uh, so loft one two three four and then you have to close loft so the the loft will be close we will end at the beginning of the project but i'm not happy with this shape because look it's not close and not uh, attached to it so i will better do uh, network surfaces this is the best tool for now i'm not happy with this comment uh, very often but maybe i will be today we'll see so let's preview and uh, I don't need the tangency I need just position so there's gonna be a sharp edge here that's what I want so basically I'm quite happy with this there's plenty of lines which you shouldn't be actually worried about this right now you can uh, you can disable view by just uh, going to properties and then saying show surface is of arms and then it's gonna be very simple so uh, this is kind of cool to not getting messy right so now I can actually uh, join it and then go back to my view by unhiding all the stuff I've got on my stage and another one I need to make that one so I'll invert selection and leave only that one so I need to unhide uh, sorry explode it sorry for being that fast but I hope you follow me right now this is very simple so all the time you you got uh, some problem you can stop or go back okay so I have to do it do it again so let's create some arches like so front and then I can mirror it from a zero point as a mirror point and the plane with the shift remember about that this is important and then I can go here and look from a top view make this shape like like that and then again mirror all right so in this case we'll try to do the same network sometimes the network will not work in this case it might not work because if you have a, a surface seam here uh, always mm, uh, surface is split into two surfaces so then the network will not work as I as you want or may not work at all okay let's try to do so network hmm. yeah that's this you see and this is gonna be really trouble so you're not able to do it so I prefer in this case to do loft so I will loft all of those shapes you have to select them uh, in kind of uh, kind of steps so I will select in order like that okay you have to select in those ends not just like on the opposite because otherwise it will just cross like this okay and again one two three four yeah so again one 
two, three, four. Yeah, you have to keep precise order, otherwise it's gonna be very tricky. Okay, it should be should be close. Yeah, and in this case, this uh, difference between shapes is not that bad, so I can leave it. Just delete that one and delete this one and actually go and make blend again but not a t using tangency as a fillet feeling fillet that's just do this using polar position because i want to have a flat surfaces over there all right again flat surfaces position is everything is all right so at the end of it just select them all and then um, join so you got a solid all right let's see what we've done hmm, uh, let's check out if everything is all right so basically it is the same i've made i s i've actually made something some inside stuff like uh, make the sphere on and this is this is something not very interesting now you've got uh, all the stuff crossed in here you know and uh, there is no hole inside so we can just create cylinder and from top view from the zero point of course and from top view and then yes yeah, see yeah like so okay and then extend it from from this perspective view and uh, W and then I can actually scale it to go outside this shape to cut it off or maybe not as you want let's check what's go what's what, what how it how will it be when I cut it so I'll hide it and then use boolean difference I'm going to cut in that one and using that one yeah like that and then I can put a sphere over there so to be so kind of energy point to do some great visualization that there is something inside really flashing or making energy yeah like that okay and also I need to cut the hole inside so basically now I can just hide this part and make mm, you cut like for example boolean intersection or split I'll just split it yeah so I want to split that one by using this one and then I can just cut it or I don't know use it for something else so and I've got another split stuff, splitted stuff in there. The splitting tool is also great tool for the future as you want to play more with it. You can do it by yourself. I'm just deleting it. All right, so basically, let's check it out. Our NASA energy capsule is ready to start giving some space energy. So Thanks for watching. I hope I helped you with with your creative stuff. Bye.